In this video, we're going to break down three exercises that you can incorporate into your prenatal workouts to help you prepare for pushing. Hey, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Gina. I'm the head coach here and founder of Mama Stay Fit, which is a perinatal fitness training company that also teaches childbirth education. In this video, we're gonna break down three exercises that you can do during pregnancy to help prepare for pushing when it comes to labor. We don't have to wait till birth to try to figure out what is going on. We can integrate movements during our pregnancy to create more space within the pelvis and to teach the fundamental movements that you'll need to know how to do during your birth. So when it comes to pushing, we wanna create more space here at the bottom of the pelvis or the pelvic outlet. And we can do that with internal rotation of the femurs or knees and ankles out. It's gonna spread these ischial tuberosities or these sits bones further apart from one another. And how can we achieve that? How can we find internal rotation of the femur? Two big muscles are gonna help us to find this. The first is gonna be your inner thigh or your adductor muscle, which helps us to internally rotate. And the second is gonna be your hamstrings. These are those muscles on the back side of your thigh. Both of these muscles are gonna help to tuck your butt underneath and then to help the bottom of the pelvis open. So we're gonna talk about some exercises that are gonna to help to strengthen the adductors and the hamstrings so they can help pull your pelvis into this more open position. We're also gonna discuss the pelvic floor. In order to find this internally rotated position, we need the back half of the pelvic floor to release to allow the back half of the pelvis to open. And so we're gonna incorporate one exercise to help release tension back here. And then the last movement is gonna be a lat strengthening exercise. So it's gonna to help to strengthen your back side. The reason being is pushing tends to be a pulling activity. You're usually pulling on something to help you generate some power. And we wanna be able to pull with our lats. And so incorporating exercises during pregnancy to strengthen your backside, one is gonna help you be more comfortable because it's gonna help you maintain a more upright position. But two, lat engagement can sometimes help pull the sacrum out of the way, create more space here in the bottom of your pelvis. So let's break down these three exercises that you can incorporate within your prenatal workouts to help you prepare for pushing. And if you want more, join our prenatal fitness programs. We're gonna incorporate pelvic opening exercises throughout the entirety of our program. So we're gonna incorporate exercises that help to open the top of the pelvis, the middle of the pelvis, and the bottom of the pelvis starting from week five of your pregnancy. And so you don't need to wait till birth to figure out how to open your pelvis. We can ensure that those movements are accessible to you now during your pregnancy and your preparation for your birth. So the first movement that we're gonna do is gonna help to strengthen the inner thigh and the hamstring. I like to use a resistance band to give me some external feedback and also helps me to turn on my inner thigh a little bit more. So I have this girth hitch to this sturdy structure right here. If you're at home, you can use a door anchor and then attach a resistance band to it or you can attach it to a sturdy structure. So I'm gonna loop my leg through the band so I'm resisting adduction. So I'm resisting my leg moving outwards, which is gonna mean that I need my inner thigh to turn on a little bit more to keep my leg where it's at. So I'm gonna put weight into this front leg and then step this back foot back. So now I'm in a staggered stance. And from here, I'm holding the weight in the outside arm. I'm gonna hinge forward at the waist, which is different from squatting, because I'm pushing my hips to the wall behind me. So I'm gonna hinge forward at the waist as I reach towards that front leg, and then exhale to come up and open up in my hip. So at the bottom, I'm finding a more closed hip position. Depending on how far along you are in your pregnancy, you may find that like really deep hip flexion and closed hip positions are not comfortable for you. So just go to the point that feels accessible to you. So you're gonna lower down, focus on keeping that knee stacked over the ankle, bring the weight towards that foot, and then exhale to stand up. So as you do this movement, you should feel the hamstring stretching at the bottom, you should feel that inner thigh turning on, and then exhale to stand up to feel that hamstring closing. So this is gonna be our stagger stance RDL. Key things to look for during the stagger stance RDL is weight is staying in that big toe, knees staying stacked over the ankle the entire time, so the knee is not moving out, it's also not moving in. We're maintaining that stacked position. So you're reaching down towards that opposite foot, chest to the point that feels comfortable for you. It's okay for your belly to hit your thigh, and then you're gonna exhale to stand up. So this exercise is strengthening the inner thigh and the hamstring. 
which both are really important to help pull that pelvis into that posterior tilt and also to find that internal rotation. And then you can do this on both sides. The next exercise is our supported standing hip shift. And you're gonna want a yoga block for this one. This is gonna be targeting the back half of the pelvic floor to help release tension back there so that we can find that internal rotation. So you're gonna take your yoga block and we got two variations to do this. The first is you're gonna put it between your thighs and then you're gonna point your toes towards one another. After that, you're gonna grab onto a sturdy structure such as a door frame and I'm gonna hinge my hips back. So squatting, hinging. Hinging is pushing your hips to the wall behind you while squatting is dropping the hips to the floor. So I'm gonna hinge my hips back so I'm pretty straight through my back. I can add more of a bend in my knees or I can straighten my legs a little bit more, but the key is that my toes are still pointed towards one another. And then from here, I'm just going to take a big breath in. I should feel the back half of my pelvic floor stretch a little bit more. And then exhale, I could either think, bring my rib cage and pelvis closer together to move deeper into it, or I could just exhale and relax. So inhale to stretch, exhale to engage, or exhale to relax, and I'll show you both. So this will be exhale to engage. So maybe you saw my back move a little bit more into a rounded position, and this is exhale to relax. And so with that variation, we're finding into rotation and we're targeting more of the back half of the pelvic floor in this hinge stretching position. If we wanna make it a little bit more asymmetrical, let's say one side is a little bit tighter than the other, for a lot of us, the left side is a little bit tighter, we can use a yoga block. So you'll stand on the yoga block, you're gonna place one foot onto that elevated surface and then hold on with the opposite hand. From here, I'm gonna hinge my hips back and then in my support leg, I'm gonna bend to rotate my pelvis on the femur. So my femur or my leg is stationary, we're in a static position as I rotate the pelvis on top. And in that motion, I'm gonna feel a lot more of a stretch here in this glute musculature. So this is the hip that I'm targeting right now. And so I'm in this hinged position. I can think push belly away from the floor to intensify the stretch. And same thing, I'm thinking big inhale, feel that back half of the pelvic floor expand a little bit more. And then exhale, I can engage or I can release. So this is the engage. And this is the relax. So neither is better than the other. The relax is great because it just is releasing tension and focusing on just letting go. Well, the engage is usually gonna help you move deeper into the stretch. So it's all about the sensation that you're looking for. And so to release the back half of the pelvic floor, key things that we're looking for is more internal rotation or a hip shift, which is what that second movement was. And then breathing down into the pelvic floor in a slightly rounded position, because this is gonna help to target more of that back half of the pelvic floor. The last exercise is going to be a row motion. So rowing motion, such as the horizontal row, is gonna to help to strengthen the lat muscles or that back musculature. And so as a reminder, we need our lats to be strong because it can help to pull the sacrum back just a little bit and create a little bit more space. It can also be very helpful when we're pushing because we're typically holding on to stuff and kind of pulling our legs or pulling a scarf. And so we want a strong back to help support that. And so the single arm row is a great variation that you could do, it's supportive. And we can also add a yoga block underneath the hand to kind of increase the angle of the upper body for your comfort if you're later in pregnancy. So you can either place one hand on that yoga block or just directly down on your supportive structure. And then the same side knee will be on your elevated surface as well. You'll grab onto your weight, release it down to the side of the bench, and then exhale to row back at this 90 degree angle. And so as I row back, I can think trying to bring it towards the bottom of my rib cage, back towards my hip, but it's this diagonal backwards motion. You can hold here for a second and then release down. Another thing is to think open in the chest at the top. So we don't wanna be rowing like this. We wanna think open our chest as we row back and then inhale to lower down. And you can do this one on both sides. And so if we are preparing for pushing, we wanna focus on being able to open the bottom part of the pelvis here. The way that we're gonna open that is gonna involve one, ensuring that the muscles that help us to find this position are strong, such as the inner thighs and the hamstrings, which is gonna help us to tuck our pelvis a little bit more, 
and to find more of that opening. So incorporating exercises that are hinge focused, like the stagger stance already up with banded feedback can be really helpful to repair to create more space down here. We also wanna integrate exercises that are gonna help to release tension here in that back half of the pelvic floor. Because if there's a lot of tension, it's gonna be really hard to create that space. So movements like the supporting hip shift or the standing supported breathing drill can help to release tension back here, either on both sides or just one side. And then finally, we want a strong back musculature because pushing involves a lot of pulling activities. In addition, this can help to pull that sacrum a little bit out of the way. And so integrating those type of exercises into your prenatal fitness program can help you prepare for pushing. And so if you liked this video and you like those exercises, check out our online prenatal fitness programs. Our prenatal fitness programs are going to sync to your current week of pregnancy, and it's filled with modifications that are going to correlate to your trimester, to what we found to work best for our in-person training clients. That's what's really unique about us here at Mama Stay Fit, is we have an in-person gym and all we train is pregnant and postpartum fitness clients. And so everything that we've learned from working in person with our clients, we are sharing with you online with our online fitness programs. Our programs are incorporate pelvic opening exercises to open the top of the pelvis, the middle, and the bottom. So it incorporated exercises to help keep you strong throughout the entirety of your pregnancy. And then also pelvic stability exercises to help you stay comfortable throughout your pregnancy because pain is not a requirement of pregnancy. And we are firm believers in that. And we've helped so many clients stay really comfortable throughout their pregnancies because of our pelvic stability exercises. So if you wanna check out our programs, check them out in the show notes below. You can use code YouTube10 to get 10% off all of our online fitness programs. And you can even bundle them with childbirth education and pelvic floor prep for 15% off, which would make the total 25% off. So check them out in the show notes below. And thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so that you get notified every time we release new videos. We try to release them about once a week, depending on our work schedule. We love providing this content for you. So if you like this video, like it, and then also comment below other exercises that you're hoping for us to share, or if you're not sure which of our programs to navigate. So thanks for watching. We'll check you out next time.